Magandang araw Pilipinas at sa ating mga kababayan sa ibang bansa. Welcome to TikTok with Aster Amoya. Sa araw na ito mga kaibigan ay sana naman pong kilalang celebrity couple ang ating makakakwentuhan. The guy, he's so popular. He's known as the Prince of R&B, singer, songwriter, record producer, occasional actor. And of course, his lovely wife, singer, songwriter, actress, dancer. Mga kaibigan, let's all welcome JR and Mika Javier. Hey. Wow. Thank you for having us, Paul. Wow. Ang ganda po ng intro nyo, ah. Totoo ba? Eh, mag- <laughs> diba? Totoong totoo lahat ang aking intro sa inyo. Hindi diba? lang yung magandang sinasabi, pero yung delivery, it's so good. Ang galing-galing yung po. Wow. Thank you naman. Totoo naman, di ba? You have a lot of fans, lalo na dyan sa Amerika. Hey, yes. what's up everybody? Shout out sa ating mga kababayan Shout dyan out. sa Amerika. At sa ibang bansa, syempre. Dito pa rin. Dito rin sa Pilipinas. Okay, so how are you both? We're doing well. Mm. Uh, super nag-enjoy kami sa trip na to. Punong-puno yung schedule namin. Halos wala kaming araw na natulog lang kami. Wow. Um, because we're based in the US right now, sinusulit talaga namin yung oras sa Pilipinas. Not just to see our family, but also to connect with our peers and our, fel- our fans here and yes. our fellow colleagues here to make sure that they also know na marami pa kaming ginagawa sa stage. And I'm so or... happy dahil naisingit nyo ang TikTok. Yes. Diba? I'm so put. happy. Diba? Hindi na lang alam. And thank you so much. And of course, JR, what are you busy with? Aside, of course, I know you're uh, back and forth kayong dalawa na mag-asawa, diba, ng Amerika at saka dito. May isa nga akong napanood no na, wow, you sang, I think, the, the national, national anthem. anthem. Oh, yeah. US national anthem. Yes, wow. Yeah. What was the feeling like? Crypto, Crypto arena po kami. Wow. And it was a dream come true po to be able to sing at an NBA game, national anthem. Oh, Siyempre, oh. I'm born in the States, so I'm American po, pero I'm Filipino, so, you know, they asked me to do the national anthem, and just being on the court, nakasama ko pang pinakamatangkad ng mga basketball <laughs> player, parang feeling ko liit-liit po, pero, you know, I was really big with my voice there, kaya I was so proud to be there, to be representing the Filipinos din po. And you were introduced as a Filipino artist, right? Opo, opo. Yeah, sarap ng feeling. Siyempre kami, lahat tayong mga Filipinos, we were so so proud of you. International na talaga JR, <laughs> di ba? They say international, but it's only because ang daming Pilipino sa buong mundo po. Kaya nakaka-tour yes. po ako dahil sa ating mga kababayan, kababayan po, di ba? Mm-hmm. And currently, I'm on my 20-year anniversary tour. Wow. Opo, we're continuing it Congratulations. po. Congratulations. So, may anniversary tour ka. Opo. Is Mika with you? Um, busy din po si Mika. Uh, so, may, kari- may sarili siyang career kasi. Opo. Okay. <laughs> Super proud ako kay JR kasi ang paglipat namin sa Amerika, hindi naman siya planado talaga. Pero na-timingan namin na nung nagbukas yung buong mundo from the pandemic, nag-show na agad si JR sa States. At maraming salamat talaga sa mga Filipino community kasi na-miss talaga nila yung yung Filipino artist, si Almost JR. Almost three years yun! Yeah, okay. that's two years na kami sa US and tuloy-tuloy lang din yung shows ni JR. Mm-hmm. And we're really very blessed and very lucky to have that opportunity. Earlier this year, nung February, sabi ni JR, boot 20 years na ako sa industry. Tapos parang nagulat ako, sabi ko, wait, that's a big milestone. Not everyone makes it to 20 years yes. in the industry. Oh, you have to do oh. something. Kaya nag-isip na siya ng mag- tour ng 20 years naman. Tour. Alam mo, nakakatuwa ka, JR, kasi like, you were born and raised in the U.S. You're Opo. a film naman talaga, di ba? Yes, o, pero napakagaling mo na magtaga. <laughs> di ba? You've been here, of course, in the Philippines for 20, 20 years. Opo. Yeah, 20 years. You've been here in the industry uh, for 20 years. Kaya nga nag artist artista ka na dito, <laughs> di ba? Yung difference lang po, uh-huh. when I started, yung boloktotness ng Ay, Tagalog ko po, naging konti na lang po. Ay, but what's important kasi, <laughs> naging effort ka. We are not expecting you na maging fluent ka sa Tagalog. But what's important is, uh, magaling ka na magsalita, naiintindihan ka. That's okay. the most important, Yay, eh, di ba? Thank you po. Ako nga na, because I'm Bisaya, waray. Mm. So may accent ako. Yung Bisayan accent, lumalabas at lumalabas sa akin. Yes. Ikaw, Mika. You were not born in the U.S., right? No. But you studied in New York. Yeah, I was born here. Uh-oh. Pero ang upbringing ko po, international schools. Balok dot, balok dot din yung Tagalog ko. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Nag-aral din ako sa Australia, sa New York, sa Italy. So medyo naghalo-halo na yung accent ko. Pero pag uwi ko po dito... No, pag naandun ka, eh, hindi mo mahalata talaga. Hindi talaga. Oh. Nag-a-adapt yung yes. accent ko. Depende right. kung sinong kausa. At saka kung nasaan ka. At kung nasaan ka. Yeah. Kasi for me, part din yun ng pakikitungo sa kausa 
usap mo. Correct. Pag ipipilit mo lang yung accent na gusto mo, hindi kayo magkakaintindi. Correct. Eh. So, uh-huh. pag uwi ko din dito sa Pilipinas, I had to relearn Tagalog. Uh-huh. As in, yung, yung malalim na Tagalog. Uh-huh. Ina, pinayagan ako ni Mr. M. Si Mr. Uh-huh. M pa nag-push yes, sa akin yes. mag-Tagalog workshop. Sa, dative siya sa, ano, sa Star Magic. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. For me, nakatulong talaga yon. I think, importante yon bilang Pinoy na marunong kang, kung Tagalog man, kailangan tuwid. Kung English, tuwid yes, yes, yes. So, I think, right. It makes us more versatile. That's the biggest advantage of Filipinos. Yes. Kaya pwede tayong maging global kasi mm. sanay na sanay tayo sa English. Siguro okay. part na po yun kung bakit magaling ang Pinoy mag-perform, kumanta at True. no marte. Yeah. Kasi yes. our pick-up, yung pick-up natin sa tunog, yes. sa accent, sa sound, sa melodies. Napaka-flexible natin. Flexible. Oh, Talagang okay. ingrained na yata yun sa dugo yeah. ng Pilipino. Kaya right. nagiging how global Filipinos can be. So yeah. I think that's a huge factor din. Mga kaibigan, a little ano lang po. Mika Javier. Pag sinabi yung Mika Javier, yung Javier, she's the niece of the late Adani Javier of Apo. And of course, her dad is Sandy Javier, a politician and businessman na siyang mag- nagmamayari ng andoks. Ooh. Yung po, a little background. Kaya nga, kasi pupuntahan din natin yan. Your dad, si uh, uh, Sandy, hindi ka ba niya uh, ni-require na to get involved with the business? Hindi naman po requirement, mm-hmm. but I grew up in in the family business. Bata pa lang ako, bata pa lang ako nandun na ako sa office nila, sa lahat ng department, lagi kong nasisili. Pero yung interest ko po, nung lumalaki ako, arts talaga. So, ang ginawa ko, nag-aral ako, I combined business and the arts. So, I have both the business side and wow. the creative side. Pero ang pinursu ko po talaga, habang bata, is the arts. The arts, Kasi, okay. Gaya ni Tito Dani, mahilig talaga akong mag-perform, kumanta, mag- ngayon acting na din. Yes. And I think even more now, nadagdagan na din to produce and to tell stories, either through music or through films and content, ganon. So, I think hindi ko talaga ma-erase yon, but hindi mawawala sa akin yung pagiging parte ng family business. You are studying in the U.S., particularly New York. Anong kinuha yeah. mo? Ang hirap uh, i-explain. Uh-huh. Pero I went to New York University for college. Tapos yung, yung major ko, it's called Individualized Study. Oh, that means... Oh, first time ko na no? Yes, kind of like an interdisciplinary oh, course. Okay. So that means I was able to combine different majors and combine it or customize it for what I wanted to study. Kaya nga po, kinumbayan ko business and the arts. Mm-hmm. Kasama na rin yung communications doon. Mm-hmm. And nung nasa college pa ako, habang nag-aaral, kanyari, daytime, may mga classes ako. Sa ibang araw, nag intern na po ako sa fashion houses, like mm-hmm. Harper's Bazaar, mm-hmm. Magazine, wow. Diane von Furstenberg, mm-hmm. the fashion designer, mm-hmm. even Adidas Originals. Tapos, sa after school activities ko, nagpo-produce ako ng charity fashion dance shows mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. kung saan hindi ka lang producer ikaw din yung creative magpo-perform ka rin ikakast mo din yung mga yung kaklase mo and we all did that we were so young and so like bright-eyed about just creating something that will also impact or help other people kaya nga po may charity portion din yun hindi ko naman alam na yung activities na yun will help me when I'm older in my career. Hindi ko na isa pero siguro as young as that age, mm-hmm. I want parang yun na yung hilig ko. Mm-hmm. Kaya I, I started doing that when I was still in school, which applies to now. Now with a label with Ang JR. Sa parents mo, they were supportive kung ano talaga yung gusto mo. Yeah. Yeah, yan ang, paano ka napasok sa showbiz? Nagsimula po ako modeling eh. Sa high school pa lang po ako. Yeah, because you have the look, na... you have the height. Oo, <laughs> Thank diba? you po. Oh. And then I started writing songs. Mm. Tapos nung nasa New York ako, napadpad ako sa music industry doon. And then pag uwi ko naman dito, I met JR and then he helped me release my first original song. And then at the time, hindi po masyadong uh, accepted ang original music na English. So nahirapan ako sa original music ko, pero pinupush ko talaga siya. So tuwing nagigasting ako for music, ang response naman, kagaya nung sinabi ni Mr. M, bakit hindi ka mag-acting, mag-artista, mag-training ka, tapos parang maraming roles na pwede sa'yo. Yes. Doon na yung naging transition, how I entered show business. It was kind of an accident. But naisip ko na kung ito yung opportunity for me to get my foot in the door and then maybe I can share my music or my message or my talent, then gagawin ko na lang. Hindi mo kinonsider ang pumasok sa pageantry, beauty pageantry? No, Never? At all? No. Your mom was a beauty queen, right? Yeah, she was. And maybe that's why. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we not want to do what our parents did? <laughs> <laughs> um, Akala ko sumusunod pa nga eh. 
I, I know, pero hindi po siya naging interest ko kasi growing up, I was very into sports and outdoor mm-hmm. activities. Yung pang mas activities ng mga lalaki because I had three brothers after me. So, mm-hmm. mahilig ako sa martial arts, yeah, really. tumbling, Uh-oh. climbing trees, mga ganun. Kung meron akong papasukin, siguro yung acting na may action na lang para gugulong-gulong ako dun sa, <laughs> sa, sa mga bundok. And I think, Nagawa ko din naman po yun when I did my teleseries sa uh, ABS called Los Bastardos. Oh yeah, you Nabigyan ako ng yes. role na, na action talaga yung, yung ginagawa. Ako yung pinakamaduming artista doon. Dapat nasa Batang Kiapo ka. Yeah. <laughs> diba? If you're watching Coco. <laughs> yeah, ako lagi yung okay, pinaka-pawis, si pinaka-bugbog, uh, pinaka... Mm-hmm. But then uh, I loved it. Mad respect to all the beauty queens because that's not easy what they do. I know. But I, I just like more nit- like gritty and grungy things. JR, how do you two men? So, isang charity event po. Na uh, nakita po kami, kumanta po ako doon at nag-attend din po si Mika. Kaibigan niyo po si Apple the App of oh, Black yeah. Eyed Peas. Yeah, it was uh, his charity event po. So, Dito na, ito sa Philippines? Opo, sa Resorts World po ginawa. Ah, okay, alright. Tapos opus, opus yata po dati. Mm-hmm. Tapos kumanta po ako, eh nakita niya po ako, nag-usap po kami, nalaman ko na singer din po siya. So sabi ko, ba parang bagay tayo mag ano, pumasok sa studio, gawa tayo ng music. Eh yung pala may original music na pala siya. So yun, parang pinasok po po siya sa aking label po, Homeworks, dinistribute namin yung album niya. Tapos from there, we developed a bond through music po. Nagsulat na po ng mga songs and yung first na song na sinulat namin, na invita din po siya sa mag-opening for J-Lo. Kinanta namin oh. po dun sa MOA Arena. Arena. Oh. Yung unang kanta namin po. So music talaga ang common denominator namin yeah, sa Yeah, definitely. Yes. Oh, po. Oh, arts ang, ang hindi po niya na-mention, ako yung unang nakipag-usap <laughs> sa kanya. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. So, hindi ko na sinabi yan. Okay. I was gonna ask nga eh, sabi ko, was it love at first sight? Ako po, love yes. for me. Ako po, yes. <laughs> love Bakit at first sight. Bakit ganun sinabi mo? Because at the time, kaka-uwi ko lang galing New York. Okay. So parang, and then nakatira din ako sa family home namin. So parang, Gusto kong makilala ulit yung yung sarili ko in my home all over again. Kasi nasanay akong living alone sa ibang bansa. Oh, may boyfriend ka pa ata nun eh. No, I did mm. not. <laughs> Ikaw yata yung my girlfriend wala, pa. Wala, wala. A single na nga ako. Naghanap na nga Sige, ako nun eh. Ilalabas natin mga kaibigan kung sa akin ng totoo. Yun, so hindi ko, hindi ko inisip na gusto kong magkaroon ng boyfriend at that time. Ayoko pa talaga. Ako ready na po ako nung nakita ko pa siya. Sabi ko, itong babae nito... Matagal kang walang girlfriend, no? No! Mga ano na po, siguro mga... <laughs> months lang. Like, seven months na po. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that long? Who was the last yeah, yeah. one? Beauty queen din po. Oh, yung last one. Hindi ka one. talaga sa beauty queen. And that's why I'm not a beauty queen. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he ended up with you. Kasi hindi ka beauty queen. <laughs> well, all in all po, including marriage, mag... Ten years na po. Hindi, before Kami you get married. Seven, seven years, years po. Seven years kayong naging mag-boyfriend? Oh, Apo. Anong katagal? Apo. Pero wow. bago nun, nine months ko po siya niligawan. Talagang wow. pinahirapan almost, po ako ni Mika. Almost one year. Opo. Di ba? Opo. Wow. Talagang may wall po si Mika na kailangan ko talaga. Pa, yes. Diba? Opo. Diba? Ang galing. Lalo po ako na in love na ano eh. Pag, <laughs> Sa hirap ng liga eh, hindi ko naman po alam na king of R&B siya. Ah. Kasi nung height ng career ni JR, wala ako dito. I was in New York. I was yeah, studying. Right, right, so, right. hindi ko po nakita yung mga billboard niya na naka-underwear lang. <laughs> wala Buti ako na lang. nakita. Buti na lang wala, yung nakita. Wala, wala. Oh. At saka funny story, nung nalaman ko na lang na siya pala yung kumanta ng Bakit pa ba, which I thought was a classic Filipino song. Na, h- na hindi ko alam na siya pala yung original singer nun. Nagpunta kami sa Christmas party ng Andox. Kasama siya. Friends. Plugging ha, plugging ng Andox ha, Sandy. No, ha? friends lang kami noon time na yun. Tapos nakilala siya, daming nakakilala kay JR. Tapos parang nag-request sila, pwede bang kumanta si JR? Eh, game naman siya. Anytime naman, naman. pakanta. Pero hindi pa kayo noon. No, hindi pa. Ah, hindi pa. So, kumanta siya. Yung first line pa lang ng bakit pa ba, lahat ng mga tao ng Andox mm-hmm. nag-cheer si Gawan. Mm-hmm. And then me and my brother, were diba, wondering. Americanized. Yeah, so we were right. like, he, did he sing that song? Is that original? The sabi ng brother ko, siya yung, yung nagbamanage ng Andox mm. na yun, sabi niya, JR sang that song? That song is so famous. Oh. Tapos tinanong ko siya, after niya kumanta, sabi ko, sinong original singer ng kantang yun? Because I know that song, I know, it's a yeah. big, big, big right. OPM song. Right, right, and then right. he looked at me, he was like, 
I sang that song. That's my original mm -hmm. song. Oh, so diba? then my, yeah, my jaw was like, May what? Na, no, one point forward. Yeah, <laughs> one point J or one point. <laughs> one, like, one, one pogi point. Yeah, one pogi point. <laughs> 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 legendary song. <laughs> Tapos yun, dun ko na lang talaga nalaman na siya pala yung king of R&B. Nang Pilipinas. <laughs> Why did it take, uh, take him so long or too long bago mo sagutin? I think, because I I needed to be sure first for myself. Mm -hmm. Ayoko ng magsayang ng oras, tsaka ayoko din madistract sa career or sa kung anong gusto kong gawin na maging matino na yung buhay ko. Because before before that I was so all, all over the place. I was in New York. I was traveling all the time. Walang parang lahat ng tinatry ko nagfail. It was like try fail, get back up, try again, fail, get back up. So when I moved back to the Philippines, my dad also was very hard on me to make sure that I had a path that would be successful because he knows how hard it is right so parang iniisip ko talaga ayo kung ma-distract na my boyfriend gusto kong maging matino yung kung ipo-pursue ko yung music ba or career ba or business i want to focus so it took me a long time but what made me me decide that JR was the one that i wanted to have with me in my life was consistent siya from day one. Yeah. Kahit na sinasabi ko, no, I'm not ready. Yes. Let's just be na, friends. Marami nang kukuwento po sa kanya na mas umang tao daw po. <laughs> <laughs> Totoo? Opo, opo. Totoo? Sinisiraan yeah. ka? Yeah, meron po. Kasi may may interes sa'yo. Hindi. May mga balita na hindi daw siya okay. Yeah. So, of course, like some of my friends would hear the chismes then, oh, be careful, ah, yung JR na yan. May mga balita na hindi siya okay sa babae, like that. So then, but, because I knew him na, and consistent nga yung, yung pinapakita niya sa akin, I felt like it was wrong. I felt like... Exactly I knew, the opposite. Yeah, I felt like he was so genuine, and he was humble, and he was kind, and he was down to earth. and So I just looked at him for who he was, and not the celebrity. Pareha siya kung, kasa, kung kaharap ang fans, kung kaharap ang showbiz people, or mga pamilya lang. Saturate. Yeah, he's the same person. So yes, yes. I thought, actually, yung tita ko yung tumawag, yung, yung kapatid ni Papang Babae, mm -hmm. the only um, sister of, of my dad. Hi, Tita Sasio. She's in the state. She lives there. So she calls me one day. She was like, Mika, when are you going to allow yourself to fall in love? She was like, I think when you do that, everything will fall into place. Sabi ko, Pero alam na niya na liligaw na to. Feeling ko, uh -oh. siguro sa mga post, siguro okay. nakikita niya na baka may something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But so then I was like, bakit niya kaya masasabi yun? So then I had to think about it. I was like, wait a minute, maybe. Ano yung naging reaction ng family mo nung alaman nilang boyfriend mo na si JR? To be honest, nung hindi pa kami boyfriend-girlfriend, gusto na siya ng family ko. Oh, talaga? Yeah. My dad really liked him from, oh. from day one that he met him. So... Mm -hmm. I didn't really have a problem. They really liked him. They still like him so much. <laughs> wow. So, ano ginawa mo? <laughs> hindi ko po alam. <laughs> ano ginawa mo? Kinantahan po niya. May magic powers Gayuma yung po. <laughs> Paano mo na sabi sa sarili mo na mamag-meet mo na si Mika na this is the woman, this is the girl that I want to be with? So first appearance pa lang eh. First impression pa lang po eh. Ang ganda po eh. So mm, yeah, nakita ko pa siya parang yes. wow, ganda, sexy. Beautiful, yeah. yeah. Tapos nung nagsalita na po, sabi ko wow, matalino pa. <laughs> Oo, Grabe. Ba? Tapos Oo. kumakanta pa. Ay, parang Oo. sa akin, lahat ng mga ganda points nakita ko na sa kanya. Lahat hinahanap mo sa isang babae na andun sa kanya lahat. Diba? So yung first impression, <laughs> haba ng head. First impression, ang ganda na po. Tapos, as we got to know each other, mas lalo po ako na in love. Especially na, na parang yung ayaw niya sa akin, na mga ganun. Talagang, sabi ko, iba to yung babae nito. Talagang may sariling isip, may may mga aspirations sa buhay. So, parang... Very independent. Independent, mm -hmm. exactly. So, na-inspired din po ako ligawan. Na, hindi po ako nag-give up. Talagang, nandun po ako. Yung studio, definitely po, dahilan po yan. Mag Magsulat para, you know, we can get close. Siyempre, pa nagsusulat po, di ba? Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I think for me, then, nung, before I met JR, I was kopo yung mga major labels sa Filipinas. I was in the mga songs that were in the States, original. I was in the States, original music. It was always, can you do covers? 
covers na lang kasi mas mabenta yung covers and I'm, I didn't want to do covers. Imagine niyo po yung legacy po ng pamilya namin, OPM, tapos ako gagawin ko covers. Parang it did not sit right with me. So when I met JR and he understood na kung ano yung gusto kong gawin with my music mm-hmm. to keep making mm-hmm. original songs, mm-hmm. nag-click na talaga kami. I was mm-hmm. like, wow, you're the first person that understands what I'm trying to do. Tapos you're willing to help me pa. Game, let's go. So even at that point, mas focus ko po yung yung music like pagbuo ng or pagsimula ng career dito sa Pilipinas but he was so kind to even help me to offer to help me kahit na sikat na siya he's already the king of R&B so that's one point yeah that's one one of the considerations mm-hmm. also kung bakit na call ka sa kanya yeah he oh. was he's always so generous alam niya ng lahat ng nakakasama niya he's the most generous kind like just so helpful to everybody so it's so pretty ako talaga na ano ko talaga sa mga ganyang kulay eh di ba oh, kasi yun sa mga gusto-gusto ng mga american Nakakatawa guys nakakatawa yeah. nga kasi sa sa US oh. nagbabayad sila ng madaming pera para maging kayo mangge <laughs> Tapos tayo natural. natural lang. So it's it's just nice to embrace your own skin. Like for a time, lagi akong sinasabihan ng casting directors na magpaputi ka naman, magpagluta oh ka na. And I never, I never really bought into it oh, kasi oh. mahilig talaga ako mag-swimming. Oh, oh. <laughs> Nasa araw ako lagi. This was always my skin color kahit nung bata pa ako. I started as a model in the US and New York. Commercial, print, and fashion. Tapos naging music. Mm-hmm. Ngayon, my first role actually hindi pa ako nag-aral mag-artista. My first role was on Gossip Girl. Oh, in 2010 or wow. 2011. Oh, oh. I had no line. Are you talking about are you talking about the series? Yes, oh, the okay. original Gossip yes. Girl. Yes. Anyways, I was in a scene with the one of the main characters and I was the masseuse. Yung kwento nito nakakatawa how I got the role. It was it was a casting tapos yung mga kasama kong babae mga oriental features na Asian. So they were lighter skin, they looked more like Japanese, yes. Korean, Chinese. Right. And then I was the only Asian na morena skin tone tapos mas bilog ng konti yung mata. Mm-hmm. Pero ako yung nakuha. And that's when I was like, wow, may impact din pala yung pagiging yes. morena with yes. rounder yes. eyes, but we're still Asian, Uh-oh. you know, features and everything. So parang nagkaroon din ako ng confidence na there's a market for this kind of look too. <laughs> Are you not even uh, toying with the idea na mag- to try Hollywood? Yeah, I am. Ikaw. I'm still I'm studying in the US. I I have an acting coach there who's an who's an Oscar award-winning. Meron kang agent doon. I have an agent uh-huh. and a management there, oh. but you know, it takes time. Mm-hmm. Hindi porket meron ka nang nasimulan sa Pilipinas, pumunta ka sa US, ganun ka dali. It's really yes. like starting from scratch. Right. And I know it's a marathon, it's not a race. I mean, it's not a sprint. So, for me, I think if I just continue working hard and working towards my craft, I think That will happen. Papasakay, and I think the yeah, yeah, yeah. diba? dream ko siguro ah. sa Hollywood is to represent the pure blood Filipinos on the main stage there. I'm born and raised Filipino. My mom and dad are Filipino. My roots are from the Philippines. And it would be such a blessing to be able to play a role, a significant role there. Ang dami mga Asian mm. actors in Hollywood, di ba? Ang dami ngayon po. Ang dami. I'm sure you have a place. May room pa for you. There's room for everybody. Yeah, there's room for everybody. Yeah. How about you, JR? Well, acting po not much, pero yung music ko po definitely I'm pursuing it. I just finished my uh, 20-year anniversary album po. Oh. Nag-recording po ako sa Canada naman. First time ko po um, mag-recording sa Canada. I hooked up with these Phil Canadians po na uh, younger guys na mas fresh po ang sound. So, pag nag-collaborate po kami, maganda po yung tunog eh, with my classic mm-hmm. feel. Tapos yung bagong tunog po nila, magandang combination po siya. Yun, nag-release po ako ng, ng single po. Just last September, one called Blessed, which uh, I'm very proud of. Pongayon, we've been going around for three weeks. Dito po, we've been promoting it. Even si Mika po nag-release po ng isang song yung last August 25 called Too Good. mga production po dun sa states Ay, po. Ayaw niyong compose. Opa, opa. Wow. So ituloy ituloy so, pa rin po. Ang nag-compose ng song mo. I worked with songwriters po. Okay. In the U.S. Yeah, in okay. the U.S. Matagal na din po since the last time that I released music. This time, gagawa po ako ng bagong album and working with people in the US na rin. Again, <laughs> kasi dun, dun din po ako nagsimula with the music and I'm excited to release more music. With acting and music, music talaga inclination mo. No? Parehas po. Parehas. Iba, they're so different. They're so similar but they're also so different. But uh, first love ko po talaga yung music but acting is also where I feel the most free and natural. Paano ka napunta sa Girl Trends? 
So, girl trends po, nags- uh, pasok na po ako sa Star Magic nung time na yun. Nag-workshop na at lahat. And pinag-audition kami ni Direk Lauren. And Mr. M said, yeah, go audition. You never know, baka yun yung foot in the door mo. I auditioned, I was with like 200 girls. Tapos talagang chop-chop yun in front of Direk Lauren. And then he picked 22 girls out of hundreds of girls. Nasama kami dun sa show, sa showtime, when they nagbuo sila ng girl group to be partners with Hashtag. Awesome. To also help the ratings. Kasi nung time na yun, I think Al, Al Dub yung nag-iingay yeah. sa right, kapila. Right, right. So they wanted something fun and young and like hip for showtime. And I danced din naman po talaga. Yes. So for me it was fun, it was easy to learn the steps and I think I saw it as an opportunity then. One, to learn. Gumaling sa Tagalog, gumaling sa kung paano man, how does show business work? Like, how does the behind the scenes work? I wanted to learn everything. And then maybe, kung siguro kung palain ako, magkaroon ng opportunity to, to do either music or to act and get my name out there. Um, so that was the stepping stone for me. Pero outside of girl trends, lahat ng girl trends kasi individual artists yes. po yun eh. So, Ang yung, hashtags din. Yeah, yes. yung mga iba nagtiteleserya na. Yes. From, right. Yung iba galing PBB. Jane DeLeon is from girl trends, mm-hmm. right? So me and Jane Dana. started together at oh. the same time. So oh. it's so nice to see everybody grow. Mm-hmm. It was really fun but it was also very challenging. Ikaw naman, uh, JR. You were born and raised in the U.S. And then at 16, meron ka ng band, right? Diba? May grupo ka na. The group, um, we're still friends po. Everyone, most of them are still doing music po. See, Chris Lawrence po was part of the group back in the day also. Yung grupo po namin was First Impression. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to the guy. Mike, Alex, Jimmy, Owen, Chris, what's up? Pero um, actually, nag-training po sa akin na paano magsulat ng mga songs, mag-produce ng mga songs. Tapos may live side naman po ako with my Tito's band called The Howlers. Mm-hmm. Tito ba, what's up? And my sister, kami po yung, ano, yung mga lead singer po, si Ate Jing, me and my Tito Tony, kami po yung front. Yung training ko po sa live, we would be singing in all the clubs, sa mga birthday parties po, mga events, mga ganon. Tapos ito naman sa grupo ko po, First Impression, yung training ko naman dun po is songwriting, production, producing our own concerts, mm-hmm. yung marketing, yung pag magbibigay ko ng mga flyers po, kakanta po kami dun sa Third Street Promenade, may mga, mm-hmm. mga sombrero lang po dun for the hat. So, malawag din po yung training ko po ever since 16 po. Um, it runs in the family po. Lahat ng mga tito ko po, tumutugtog, kumakanta, dad ko po. You're just a pianist. Your mom was uh, the singer. Mom, kumakanta. Family, yeah. My sisters sing. Music po talaga is, is in our lifestyle po eh. Mm-hmm. Now your family and this family. Opo. Okay, yung wedding po namin para naging concert. concert na po yung wedding <laughs> po namin. Your wedding was done in Boracay. Sa Boracay Sa po. Boracay. Why particularly Boracay? Yung Boracay very, became very fun to us po kasi lagi po kami nagbabakasyon po doon as boyfriend girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So parang naisip din namin po maganda, you know, where we started um, hanging out. Balik po kami yung mga to days of La Boracay and yeah. You know, like Holy Week. Yes. Doon kami lagi okay, nagpupunta. No po. Kanina, di ba, tinanong ko, sabi ko, what were the qualities of uh, Mika para sabihin mo sa sarili mo, this is, this is, she is the one. Definitely. Marami po actually. Yung lagi kong sinasabi po is yung mga kulang ko po na fulfill niya. Especially pag, little things like spelling po. <laughs> ako hindi masyadong magaling mag-spelling po, pero siya super galing. Oo. Siya din po, lagi nawawala. Ako alam ko kung saan yung yeah. direction lagi. Kahit balibaligtad niyo po ako, I know <laughs> North Star is. So even when it comes to the business side of the of the, of the industry po, kasi siyempre po, sa, uh, kami in the States, you know, we produce our own shows and uh, we produce our own music, pero the admin side, yes. wala, kaming, wala kaming mga team po eh, kami-kami lang po talaga. So when it comes to the music, ako nag, I take care of everything, recording, mga technical po tapos pag kailangan na namin gumawa pa ng mga proposals, sponsorship or marketing po or design uh-huh. o si Mika naman po so uh-huh. we combine our powers po talaga Galing. like yung phrase na she completes me um totoo po yun para mm-hmm. sa akin yeah i think we we balance each other out Tsaka, from living in the philippines na meron merong katulong driver we have help pagdating sa state, kaming dalawa lang talaga. Correct. So, impossible oh, hindi kayo magtutulungan. Yeah. So, salo-salo lang kami. Whenever someone needs, one of us needs help, we pick that up for each other. Which is really helpful, hindi lang sa household, pati na rin sa business side ng careers yeah. namin. How do you see yourselves uh, five years from now? Five years from now po, we oh, have a, I, we have a I Grammy, we have Oscars for our movies. Wow. <laughs> yeah, let's claim that. Diba? We have oh. Oscars. I want a little 
little baby Jamika. Uh, we have uh, twins. That's running around. Jamika or a little JR. Yes. Oh, yes. Tama. Na kumakanta din sila. Yeah. Na nagharmonize kami ng lahat. Yun tuloy pa rin yung mga music po namin and maybe pass it down to the kids also. Yeah. Just mm. continue what we're doing and continue to make Filipinos proud wherever we go. San man kami mapadpad sa mundo and elevate the entertainment industry. With the help of your show to get uh, wow. to everyone in the States, what's oh. up? Make sure to come to our show. Yeah, and comment down below where you want to see JR do a show. Yeah. Well, that rhymed. <laughs> You've been staying in the U.S. for the last three years? Two years. Two years, two years. So, what have you been busy with uh, those two years? Mm, like movie. <laughs> well, Tita, we're, we're finishing a movie. We shot the movie here. Which you're producing as well. We produce it, but okay. also. Pero, He's directing it. Yung Dean Rosen po ang director po namin. Na they did po, Quezon's Game. Quezon's oh, Game. you heard of that before. Pero ang ganda po kasi we were able to bring the movie to Hollywood na po. Kasi ngayon we have editors from Hollywood. We have sound design and also color grading. Color grading po. So yung, yung picture po namin nag-elevate po. Ilang fold po ang ganda na nangyayari po. And we're very excited about it. Kasi naandun na kayo eh. L.A. <laughs> Hollywood. Hollywood is located in LA. Exactly. So, diba? Especially now with the uh, with Miss Dolly De Leon. Yeah. She paved mm -hmm. the she's paving the way for a lot of Filipinos. Yeah, I think it's been just been. about time. Yeah. Everything's in, right. in God's time, right? You're so right. I think You're Filipinos right. have their time oh. soon. Oh. Or now. Well for us yeah. Pinoy is parang natural po eh. I mean in all fairness, you know, Korea they have a system, they're able to train their artists po. Pero Filipinos have it as a lifestyle. We we go to bars, we sing in bars, we right. we go out there and we do dance class by ourselves po. Yung mga Pinoy kaya yung craft natin po it's it's very refined na din po. Yeah. We don't really need an organization to put us in training. Yes. Natural po sa atin yun eh. Right. Uwi do yung yung hmm. training ng Pilipino yes. when it comes to the arts. Uh, balikan ko lang ikaw uh, JR kasi like you are uh, Doon ka lumaki sa Amerika, paano ka napagpad ng Pilipinas? <laughs> oh, big shout out to Tita Jeline Eugenio. Musta po? <laughs> yes, I Jeline. Back in the day po, meron po yung grupo ko po, First Impression. Nag-record na po kami ng mga original music. And dati, wala pa po yung mga CD na may parang picture. Parang cassette tape lang ata yung pinapadala namin right, po. Right, eh. right. Cassette lang dati. Opo, oh. walang picture po yun eh. Uh -oh. So, nung naririnig po ang mga labels, Def Jam, Universal, um, nagugustuhan po nila yung music namin. Tapos pinapalipad po kami sa New York para mag-meeting. They pick, up, pick us up in a limo. Wow. Pagdating namin doon sa office, nakita po kami na Pilipino parang, wow, you're Asian pala. Sorry, hindi namin alam what there's no market for Asians. So, right then oh and there, God. na ano po kami. Sad, yeah, pero yung music namin, oh. it's, it's up there na. Right. Gustong gusto na right. nila. And out of the four labels, may dalawang label po ng, ano eh, ng, parang nagpa-pirate po ako. Pinapirate po ako mag-solo, itetrain daw po ako, ibibuild. Pero siyempre, yung loyal po ako sa grupo ko po. So I stayed with the group and we still kept going until one by one, nag-school na po yung iba, nag nagkasal na po yung iba. So nag-solo na po ako, gumawa po ng sariling album ko po. And we shopped it again, pero same thing po eh, parang Asian po hindi yung... Hindi pa itong ano, game face, hindi pa. Ito po yung game face. Ah, okay. Nagugustuhan po lahat ng labels, mm -hmm. pero... Yun, wala daw market sa Asian po eh. How sad. <laughs> Ayan, kaya nga po eh. So, ginawa namin po. Para ginaganon tayo. Ginaganon po. Asian, so. But it's a different time now. Yeah, it's right. it's a very good time for Asians right. now. Right. May market na po talaga. Right. Kung back then, nag-shop pa ako ngayon, for sure, we would have gotten that record deal and mm -hmm. it would have been a different story. Mm -hmm. But, you know, okay lang naman po sa akin. There's no regret. And at the time, si Tita Jeline, ilang years na po siya, ano eh, she's trying to convince me to move to the Philippines to pursue my career po. Eh, syempre po, taga states po ako. Mm -hmm. eh, gusto ko po mag-hit po doon. So finally, after so many rejection, na isip ko po, why not try sa Pilipinas nga? So, umuwi po kami ni Tita Jeline. We went to Universal Records instantly they gave me a, a record deal. Tapos we went to GMA po. Instantly they gave me a network deal. So parang, wow, parang may, may opportunity po dito. So lumipat na po ako. I was only 21 years old at the time. Tapos 22 years old po ako nang lumipat po dito. Which was 2003, 20 years ago. Yun, bumutok po yung first single ko po, uh, Design for Love. Yung style ko po nun, yung mga music video po na American style po. Eh. Nasa yes, Hollywood yes. Hills po kami. Right. Naka-jukusi po kami ng madaming babae. <laughs> right. 
So uh-huh. nung pinapatugtog na pa yung dito sa Pinas, parang wow, parang mga Amerikano lang talaga gumagawa nito. May, may Pinoy na gumagawa nito. So napansin po ako. And then may follow up pa ng Tagalog na bakit pa ba nabuluktok ng bulutok ang Tagalog ko. So talagang napansin po with, by Venice Saturno. And that made you actually. That's that song, song made you. That made me international po. Oh, po. Right. Yes po. After 20 years, yung passion po namin still burns yeah. bright. And right. gusto pa namin po, it's our dream po talaga to make it big po sa Amerika. Po. Kaya hanggang ngayon po, we're still trying and persistence po lang talaga. Uh, part of your uh, uh, music influences was Stevie Wonder. Yes po. Luther Vandross. Yes. And Gary Valenciano. Of course. Oh. <laughs> Gary V po. Okay. Uh, if Gary's watching, anong gusto mong i-missahin oh, pa? Oh my goodness. Pa, rating sa kanya. Sir Gary V, you know, you, um, you brought OPM to my heart living in America as an amboy. So much so that um, in the talent shows, the school, lahat sila sumasayaw to American songs, kumakanta ng American songs. And I'm singing Dina Natuto there <laughs> by <laughs> myself, a cappella. A cappella po, walang music kasi wala, wow. walang YouTube, wala ako mahana. Wow. So, wow. you know, I want to showcase OPM already in high school. Which, fun Alam fact... Alam ba Gary? Yeah! Na, Ay, na-ikwenta ko na po. Talaga. But fun fact then po, yung, yung song na Dina Natuto na kinakanta ko po sa high school, Sinulat din po ni Tito, Tito Danny wrote that song. Oh, yung Tito yes, ni, so, oh. ni so I think it's very like oh, oh. full circle. Yeah. Yeah. Nung kinikwenta niya yun sa akin, sabi ko, wait, that's Tito Danny's song. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Tito Danny wrote that song. Yeah. <laughs> Tapos parang, huh? I used to sing that song when I was in elementary. Parang, well, it was crazy. Talagang oh, connected ano, no? yung connected yung journey na. Diba? Yeah. Oh. Until now, gusto ko po mag, mag-collaborate with Sir Gary V. You know, do an original song. Why Why I would not? love to do that. Um, 20 years ago, ko pa he might be watching this. Po, you know, he po. might be watching this. <laughs> Gary, ngayon. you're watching. Diba? <laughs> oh, Who knows? And Gary's very open sa mga collaboration. He's very supportive. He's very open. Isa pa yan, Gary, sana one of these days, tayo namang dalawa. Yeah, I've been wanting to have him too. I guess it depends on the record label. Yeah. <laughs> diba? Open ka naman, diba? You're not connected with any record label now, right? My own po, homeworks po. Yeah, but we're very na. open, Ay, we you collaborate. You can work with anyone, with any war, uh, in a record label. Wala problema eh. Diba? Kailan kayo unang nagkakilala? 2012. Oh. 2012, yes. 2012. Mm-hmm. Some years isang event. Opa. Yeah, tapos... Nag-uusap kami kung sino mga kaibigan namin dito sa, sa Philippines. All the same people. Yeah. Ka-close like, ko pa oh, may iba, parang ngayon parang tayo nag-meet. Parang tayo sinagkita dati. Pero timing no? din pa talaga eh. Kasi Uh-oh. siguro pag, um, you know, kung nag-meet po kami, tapos may girlfriend po ako at the time. At the time, wala. Uh, wala Nung na. nag-meet po kami, single na po ako. Ikaw? Single din po yeah. siya. Single din siya. So, in good okay. time po talaga. Perfect time. Yeah, yeah. Oo, talagang kayo talaga, meant for each other. Meant to be. As a wife? Ano mensahe mo kay Mika? Mensahe ko po, wife? for my wife, <laughs> you know, I just want to say thank you for always supporting me and putting up with me. Lage. Yeah, you know, you always give me inspiration to keep going. You always give me inspiration to be better in everything, not just music, but to be a better person, to be a better son, to be just to be better in, in general. So thank you for always elevating me to be, a, to be who I am today. That's so sweet. <laughs> and your message for KR? I would say the same thing. Thank you. Because you make my life better, for real. Mm-hmm. Like, if you think that I make you a better person, you do the same for me. You, if, if I can teach you how to be harder and stronger, you teach me how to be softer and more open and allow myself to smile more to the world. And so, because of that, Thank you. <laughs> Love you so much. Can you have a kiss? Ooh! Siyempre, <laughs> minsahe nyo sa inyong mga fans. And of course, sir, kung gusto nyo i-promote, say it now. To all the fans, Jaron Liners, Jamika Jammers, everybody out there that loves to follow us, maraming salamat sa support ninyo. Kung wala po kayo, wala kami dito. And, you know, you're able to, uh, to make us live this dream that we've been dreaming ever since we were kids. Kaya, Thank you to all of you. Really hope to see you at my shows, the 20 year anniversary tour. Ko. Please go to jr.net. It's called the 20 Up Tour because it's 20 up, 20 more to go. And uh, just go to jr.net to get the tickets. You can find my concert dates there. And thank you to everyone streaming Blessed, the first single from the 20 year anniversary album, and more to come. So stay tuned and make sure to follow me on social media, RNBJAYR. Love you.
Yeah, and for me too, thank you to the Jamaica Jammers and the Mika Nators. Nag enjoy po ako lagi kayong nakikipag usap sa akin online. And thank you for streaming my song, Too Good. And I hope you continue to stream the song and do the dance challenge sa TikTok. Oh, no my dance TikTok challenge kayo. for my song, Too Good. And uh -huh. there's more to come, so make sure to follow me on my social media platform Mika on Instagram, The Real Mika on TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, everywhere else. And I hope that you continue to follow me on the journey. Love you guys. At bago ko kayo pasalamat at bago tayo magpaalam, please allow me to thank my personal sponsors. Pandan Asian Cafe. Marami marami salamat, Alvin, Dennis, and of course Roland, Ever Belena. Hello Glow. Most of you from Japan. Beauty Derm. Nutritech. Maraming salamat, Jos de la Luna. Aficionado by Joel Cruz. Eris Beauty Care. Vanilla Skin Clinic at Robinson's Magnolia. Mesa Tomas Morato. Richie's Kitchen by Richie Ang. Nessa Astilla Salon for my hair and makeup. Gandang Rique Reyes. Chato Sugay Jimenez. Jeffrey Jimenez, Bebot Santos of Coloretti Clothing. Studio Manila, Manila Bulletin. Maraming salamat, Bobby Ricintina. The Red Meat Shawarma. Maraming salamat, Chef John. Shinagawa Diagnostic and Preventive Care. And Shinagawa LASIK and Aesthetics. Center. Maraming maraming salamat po. You just don't know how thankful, grateful I am dahil uh, binigyan niyo ako ng I'm privileged because uh, despite your very, very tight schedule in Manila, naisingit it niyo pa rin ang TikTok oh, with Astor Amoy. Thank you so much, mga anak. And um, I hope to see you when I visit the U.S. and that you're coming back in December, right? We'll try to look for some some more shows, di ba? Yes, po. Okay. And of course, maraming salamat, JR. Maraming salamat. Uh, you're so beautiful. Talaga, <laughs> Thank you. Para kung ano, na, na, na amazed ako sa beauty talaga ni Mika. <laughs> I don't know if your dad is watching. What's your ano, message sa daddy mo? Pa. Sandy. Pa, I love you so much. You're the best dad oh. ever. And I love you. <laughs> <laughs> mga kaibigan, huwag niyo pong kakaligtaan. Mag-subscribe, mag-like, mag-share, and hit the bell icon of TikTok with Astro Amoyo. Every Friday po yan, 12 noon. Hanggang sa muli, mga kaibigan. Dito lamang po sa TikTok with Astro Amoyo. God bless us all. Bye for now. Galing!